your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. You know, David, the more I think of it, I simply cannot believe it. Well, you've had since last night to get used to the idea. I know, but still, I, I, I just can't believe it. Well, that just shows you how, how much you know about people. Mm, you mean how little. Right. But I still can't believe it, David. Why, the last person on earth I'd think would be interested in an outdoor sport would be Roger. Well, the fact remains that Roger is a great ski enthusiast. And he's an expert and has been for years. Now, you are, I believe it of, but Roger, no, well, I just can't believe it. Oh, how about more coffee? No, then? thanks. I'll have my pipe now. Here. Here you are. Thank you. Well, tell me, was Roger an expert enthusiast before it was stylish, even? Mm-hmm. Before it was stylish, even. Well, I cannot believe it, as I said before. Well, it cannot be helped. To think of your partner, that, that, that punctilious, dapper gentleman... Roger Clean, who is more interested in his ulcers than, than in the outcome of the World Series. Now, that's not so. Three pills before his meals, five pills afterwards. To think he'd be a skier, I just can't believe it. Well, you said that. I don't want to seem repetitious, darling, but I find I know, that. I know. You find it difficult to accept this fact. Yes, that's it, exactly. Why, Roger wouldn't walk to the corner for a life belt if he were drowning. That's neither here nor there. He sneered when I told him I liked swimming. He sneered. He was absolutely horrified when I told him I played baseball in high school. I don't blame not him. to find this out... David, do you know I bet there are a million things about people that I know that I don't know about? Well, that's what makes the world go around. Well, he's me dizzy. What time do you say he'd be ready? Mm, it's nine o'clock. He ought to be down any minute now. What about you? Are you anxious for your first try at it? Busting in anticipation now and later. In fact, probably. <laughs> David, wasn't it sweet how last night he sat by the fire waxing his skis? Waxing his skis is not sweet. Well, it looked very sweet to me. Where he used the palm of his hand as if he were petting a puppy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Well, even seeing him waxing his skis is more exercise than I'd expect of him. You know, all this is starting to make me wonder what I don't know about you. Well, don't start wondering. Do you think there's a great deal I don't know about you? You have not begun to plumb my depths. I don't want to plumb your depths. I just want to find out about you what I don't know. You have a long time for that. It's terrible not knowing about a man called your husband. Who is your husband? Resign yourself. Oh, resigning's no fun. Plumbing is. You like plumbing, huh? Oh, I wish Roger would come down. I'm starting to lose my courage. You don't need much courage for skiing, darling. All you need is a, a sense of balance. That's all. I have a beautiful sense of balance. I'll I'm bet. always balanced, except when I lose it. Except in the except head. Except the checkbook. Still, I just can't help wondering how talented I'm going to be at this skiing business. You uh, can um, ice skate, can't you? Hmm, sort of. <laughs> You can um, roller skate, can't you? On four wheels, perfectly. You've gone downhill on roller skate? Yep, more than I've gone up. Well, same principle. You bend your knees and let yourself be carried away. I'm uh, not promising anything. Now, nobody expects you to be a good skier the first time you're out. No, but nobody expects me to be as bad as I'm going to be either, David. I'll embarrass you. You couldn't. Now, that's sweet. Seeing as it's a sign of love for a husband to be embarrassed for his wife. Ah. Balderdash. I must I always love that word, Balderdash. Well, well, well. We're all set. I'm all dressed and ready and raring to Roger, go. Roger, you look beautiful. You looked as if you knew how to ski. Why should that be a surprise? Well, I, I, I mean, I mean, you know, people with perfect riding clothes, they never look as if they can ride a horse. And people with new shoes look as if they don't know how to walk, I suppose. Yes, that's what I mean. I was I afraid mean, it was. Well, Roger's so dressed up, and yet he looks as if he really knew how to ski. What a beautiful muffler, mm, Roger. And I looking. love your ski hat. Only I like the kind with pom-poms on the back better. Uh, for you. The hat and muffler come from Switzerland. They're really? pre-war, but in excellent condition. Mm. Really, the stuff one could buy over there. And at such prices, it was shocking. That's funny. I thought watches came from Switzerland. And chocolate. Ski hats, too. Oh, I see. And skiing, well, are your skis all ready, Claudia? Kind of ready. I'm mm-hmm. ready, too. Oh, as ready sir. as I'm ever going to be. Now, Roger, I, I don't think that I'm going to be any good at now, this. Now, Claudia, you're going to be excellent. You're oh. probably going to show David and me up fearfully. I've been trying to tell her that it's really very simple. And I am not convinced. Nothing to it. Much. Just some balance, flexibility, courage, and enthusiasm. Oh, That's I'm right. enthusiastic, all Then right. you will shine. 
The only thing that'll ever shine about me is my nose. Because I do have the best teachers in the world, you and David. Uh-huh. You'll see how simple it is. Now, I just want to go into the kitchen and fill my canteen with some water. Nothing makes me as thirsty as tea. I'll be back with me. Nope, I just can't believe it. Now, don't tell me you're still at that. The way he looks. Much too perfect, David. The right jacket, the ski pants with no crease in them, boots that are glowing with saddle soap, red scarf under his chin... He looks like a travel poster. Never underestimate the power of a travel poster. Can't wait to watch him skiing. It'll be beautiful. Now, you do what he says, and you'll learn a thing or two. Well, now, I'm all ready. Are you two? I told mm-hmm. you before, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Well, come on, then. Shoulder your skis, men. We're off to the hills. Roger, I can't stand my feet on these things. They're so slippery. <laughs> now, you're doing fine. I'm doing terrible. Claudia, Claudia, don't point your toes towards each other. Oh, well, you told me not to point them out. That doesn't mean that because I don't want you to be slew-footed that I want you to be pigeon-toed. Roger, when I keep my feet straight, they go out from under well, me. Well, they won't if you'll keep them straight. Why won't they? Because they won't. Well, when won't they? Just put your feet out straight. All right, but I'm warning you. Why don't you go down the hill, Roger, and show Claudia how it's done? Oh, please do, Roger. Well, the snow seems to be very good, David. It's packed down nice and warm and crusty. Mm -hmm. Slippery. It's been a couple of days since the big snow. I figured it'd be about right for us now. Well, here I go. Hey, be careful. You're slipping. You bet I'm slipping. That's what I'm supposed to do. Whee! This is glorious. It looks great, Roger. David, it looks like such fun. Oh. All right, you're next, darling. Oh, never. I'll never be able to manage it. Look, Roger, has gone all the way down to the bottom of the hill. He's turned around in a circle. You won't see a better amateur skier than he is. Oh, I'll bet you're as good as he is. Uh, not by a long shot. No, 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 no. Don't be modest with me. You know as well as I know that you're better at most things than most people. What a wife I married. And you look nicer in most things than most people, too. Oh, David, I love you better in your old wool shirt and your colored ski pants and your battered old felt hat than in the fanciest ski clothes money can buy. It's a good thing because we haven't got the money to buy the fancy ski clothes <laughs> with. Who cares? Oh, what a day it is. Mm-hmm, All nice, the snow it? and the air so crisp. What a perfect way to live. In the summer, there's no place like Eastbrook. In the winter, there's no place like Eastbrook either. David, do you realize it's vacation all year round living on this farm? I realize that you're not skiing, and we didn't come out here for conversation. Oh, a little conversation won't cost you a cent extra. You're stalling. Why? So I'm going to give not. you a shove, and down you'll go. Oh, David, no, David, now David, don't, knees. don't. Now, now use your oh, arms for balance. Oh, Keep sir. them down and squat down on your skis now. You mean like, like knee action in a car? Well, the idea is to sort of sit on the calves of your legs standing up. Well, that is very clear. David, hey, don't push me. David, right, help. Hold on, hold on. I'm slipping. Bend your knees. Help. Bend your knees. David, I'm skidding. Help. Bend your knees. David. <laughs> what happened? Where am I? Ah, but you little cluck, you fell down. Now, why did I do that? I was doing gorgeously. You tried looking around oh, and you talked not... too much. You didn't bend your knees. Well, I don't want to hear what I didn't do. Oh, <laughs> David, that was the most wonderful feeling. The wind whistling by. I felt so... So fast and free. Now, you see, you like it. I love it. Now get up out of that snow drift. Well, pull me up. Come on. If you aren't the laziest girl, pull I'll... Pull me up. I'll not pull Ouch, you up. Ouch, David, you're tearing my arm out of its pit. Oh. oh. Hey, my feet are all raveled up. Then unravel them. I can't. I think I, I think I braided my skis. Oh, David, the snow's getting in my ears and everything. Ouch. Can't get my feet on the ground. Now, look, it's simple. Just separate your feet, and then... David, I'm caught in the snow. Are you going to leave me here to perish? <laughs> you know this has possibilities. Of what? You're really stuck. Well, I fail to see what is so funny. <laughs> well, if I didn't help you, you'd be here for hours struggling with those skis to get I up. I think you have a misplaced sense of humor. That's all I can say. <laughs> if, you could, if you could see yourself... Find sympathy for my <laughs> own husband. Good heavens, Claudia. Are you digging yourself a trench? <laughs> Roger, please help me up. David's no help at all. <laughs> Only reason I fell down is that he pushed me. Pay no bully. attention to her, Roger. Pay no attention to him. Gallantry wins out. I'll just give you a hand. Thanks. Pull you up by your bootstrap. Oh, uh, thank you. There we are. Oh, golly, it's good to be standing up again. I never thought I would. Roger, you were beautiful like a bird. You're a wizard at skiing. Well, thank you. So elegant. From the back, it made you look so young, so strong. From the back? Hmm. Did you hear that, David? From the back. Oh, you'll get used to her, Roger. She always talked like that. 
Now, you're going down that hill again, darling, and this time you're going to get all the way down without falling. Never will. <laughs> Seeing you two men scooting around this ice like a couple of reindeers give me the most terrible inferiority complex. It was just a matter of doing it, that's no all. No matter how simple you pretend it is, I know better. You can't discuss skiing with a beginner, David. They refuse to see. But, Roger, there's no reason why Claudia can't learn. No. I guess we've been trying to oversimplify it for them. Perhaps. I hadn't thought about skiing in so long. It's sort of second nature to me, but... There must be something very tricky to it. No question about that. Of course, not everybody is able to learn how to ski. Some people just never master it. Uh, where did you learn, David? Uh, oh, I've always known how to ski. I can't remember how long I've known how to ski. Oh, it's a wonderful sport. Wonderful. You're both so superior, I just simply can't stand it. I think I will go back to the house. You are a little sissy. I'm not a sissy. I just know when I'm lit. Now, don't be discouraged. Now, do just as I say. Now, bend your knees. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Keep your shoulders level. Shoulders yes, level. that's very important. Yes. Keep your shoulders keep level. Keep them off. That's right. Keep now, keep shoulders level. level. Now, always watch where you're going. But don't. Try to talk at the same time. Now, use your straight. arms for balance. Hold your back straight, though, right. in a That's crouching straight. position from oh, the knees. I remember all that when I was standing here, but once I start slipping, it slips right out of my mind. You'll learn, and once you've learned, you'll never forget. It's just like riding a bicycle. Riding I, a bicycle. I haven't had a tumble in years. I don't remember when I spilled last. As a matter of fact, I don't remember ever spilling. All right, now, Claudia, face down the hill. Oh, David. Straighten your feet. I can't. I'll out. just go down. Now bend Please. your knees. David, your don't, knees. Don't, don't push me, David. Don't. Claudia, don't hang on Please. to me like Be careful, that. old man. Oh, You'll make me lose go. my balance. David, don't. I'm slipping. Claudia, Claudia, let's go. David, Claudia, you're driving me down. Oh, David, we're down. <laughs> I'll say we're down. Oh. Very down. Well, I don't understand. You never spilled before. <laughs> Didn't you remember to keep your shoulders level, keep your feet straight, keep your knees bent, Wait keep your back till straight? Wait till I get up, young woman. Whatever you do with her, Roger, is fine with me. Oh. Uh-oh, I'm starting to slip. I'm... Hey, hey, I'm slipping. Hey, I'm... I'm skiing. Look, David, look, Roger. No hands, I'm skiing. Goodbye. The January sales are a star attraction every year, but such shopping isn't undiluted fun. If you find yourself caught in a throng of bargain hunters, it's a good idea to pause and relax. Seek out the friendly red cooler and have a Coke. Or ice-cold Coca-Cola always helps you shop refreshed. Oh, uh, Joe, would you mind shaking the snow out of my shirt collar? Not at all, Mr. Gillian. <laughs> Thank you. Say, you uh, <clears throat> really got yourself all snowed up, didn't you? I got myself... A young woman called Claudia is responsible. <laughs> Good laugh on me, the expert skier. Well, glad to see you're laughing with us about it. What else? Oh, my back is cold and wet. Yeah, I guess the best thing is to laugh no matter what. No matter what? What? Uh, snow down your back or ice in your water pipes? That last is serious. So Claudia finds out tomorrow. Frozen pipes, eh? Nothing to laugh at. Well, be around tomorrow, Mr. Killian, and see what comes of it. Laughter or tears. I'll be around, but now for that hot tub while the pipes hold out. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes, and ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. These broadcasts are adapted for radio by Manya Starr. The entire production is supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. <laughs>